Israeli helicopter gunships strike a house and a refugee camp in Gaza. The raids followed yesterday's suicide bombing in Haifa, which killed 19. Voting in Chechnya in an election human rights campaign is described as a farce. And former British Foreign Minister says Tony Blair knew Iraq had no usable weapons of mass destruction. Welcome to BBC World News. I'm Jane Dutton. The Israeli army has demolished the home of the suicide bomber who killed... You're watching BBC World. A reminder now of our main headlines. Helicopter gunships strike a house and a refugee camp in the Gaza Strip after Saturday's suicide attack in Haifa. A former British foreign minister says Tony Blair knew Iraq had no usable weapons of mass destruction. A German transport plane that crashed into the Mediterranean Sea during World War II has been raised from the seabed by Greek armed forces. A human skeleton was found in the wreckage that lay 40 meters deep off the coast of the island of Lero. You're watching BBC World. First football and the Milan derby between Inter and IC is the highlight of Sunday's action in Europe. Elsewhere, Arsenal remain top of the English Premier and that's all the sports news for the moment and more news later on from the newsroom. Stay with us. And that's all the sports news for the moment. Uh, before we go, the Israeli military has distributed footage which it claims shows a camp used for training by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad group deep inside Syria. Israeli forces say they attacked the camp on Sunday following the suicide bombing in Haifa. And that's all the news from us for the moment.